What is up everybody on YouTube? It's my brother here with another video and today's video is going to be on a custom Air Force One. Now this custom isn't a custom I actually handmade. This was a custom I did on Nike's website from themselves. Now this is no longer Nike ID, which is currently now Nike by you. But really quickly, I wanna show you guys the box first before we actually deep dive into the shoe itself. So let's get into it. So here is your new box, Nike by you. Has it right there on the top, Nike swoosh. Swoosh is at the bottom as usual. Nothing right here on the back. And then right here on the front, it says Nike by you and that's it. Nothing else, nothing special on this box. Typically on a Nike by you box, it will actually have your name right here saying by whoever, by Alberto. But they actually, for some reason, did not print it or put the picture of the sneaker on here like they're supposed to. It's okay, it's not that big of a deal. But here is the box itself. It is a pullout box, which is pretty nice detailing when you are paying a little bit more than uh, usual on Air Force One. So let's get into the actual shoe itself. So here is the shoe itself. This is gray, white, and black. As far as neutral colors and outfits go, these are my favorite three colors. So I had to put them all on one shoe. Now, as far as sizing goes on Air Forces, I did go for a size nine and a half. That is my true size. Always go your true size when wearing forces. You can go up half a size if you have sneaker shields or go down half a size if you just wanna have a little bit tighter of a fit. But if you want the overall comfier fit or just a slightly bigger fit, just go your true size. Now, as far as retail on these Air Forces, most Air Forces retail for about 90 to $100. Since this is a custom, this retailed for 130 I believe. If I'm correct, it was 130 And I've yet to wear these shoes besides the on-feet for this video. I'm waiting for the day to actually bust these out and just stunt and wear them. Just something different, you know? But in the meantime, let's break down the shoe. So I decided to keep it clean with the white midsole and the white outsole. I thought overall that would be the best bet. Now, if you look over here, we have white laces and then we do have a white leather tongue. And yes, I said leather. This tongue is actually leather. It's not going to be like a mesh or normal fabric. When you are paying a little bit more money, they will give you better materials. As far as the Nike Air patch itself, I do have that in black writing. And then my little tab right here is going to be white as well. Now, as far as paneling goes, I have gray right here on the toe box, right here on the back panel, and that's gonna be it. I do have black right here with white embroidery, black swoosh, white mid panel, and then I do have a black toe guard or mud guard, whatever you like to call it. And then your eye stay right here is going to be black as well. Overall for this design, it was somewhat inspired by a black toe, but mainly more of like a bread toe, if you guys can see it. Now, as far as the customization and how long it takes, so after you're done making your custom sneaker on Nike.com, um, it takes about three to five weeks to deliver to you. But in most instances for Nike, if they're not backed up, it probably will take you about two to three weeks to actually get your shoe. Um, I have yet to actually extend all the way out to the five week mark to receive a pair of shoes. And I've already ordered like five custom Nikes from them. So the shipping you could say is actually kind of fast, but it does come from China. So you will get that factory smell once you do receive it um, straight up. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. But enough talking about the shoe itself. Let's get into the on feet. Okay guys, coming back from the on feet, I hope you guys liked it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up as a thumbs up does help boost this video up in the algorithm. It helps boost this channel up and grow tremendously. So it does help guys 
thumbs up is very much appreciated. And if you're new here and definitely like the content, please subscribe as I do post Monday and Thursdays and love to see you guys here on the next video. If you want to see some sneaker photos and outfits and all that good stuff, other good content, follow my Instagram at Yaman Alberta where I do post daily, sometimes twice a day and content I don't think you want to miss. Comment down below if you guys like the shoe, the colorway, the pattern, what you would change, what materials you would change. Curious to hear your thoughts as well. Definitely let me know. But that's going to do it for me guys. So stay fresh and stay fly. I'm out.